and yeah boys I got the tow mirrors up even though we ain't pulling no dang trailer my theory is maybe we'll catch the wind and maybe we'll get a better fuel mileage like a sail let's try not to get my man tit and shot here <laughs> hey Midwest Moose coming to you live 13.2 city driving that's about my average. This little experiment we're gonna do is to see if the, just the fuel filter will result in a higher average. We'll find out in this episode of the Midwest Moose. <laughs> we're gonna do a little science experiment and see if changing out a fuel filter will uh, result in increased economy. It makes sense and it's happened, it's proven, but I'd like to see what kind of gain we would get. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and continue on with the shenanigans the jibber jabbering oh uh mullet man got another bike um <clears throat> conveniently stored at my expense no this thing's gonna be running here in a couple days you really something you can run this summer while we're building the chopper but for now this is to get him by this an 87 sportster um it's a harley Davidson. <laughs> that's all i know man I'm not a bike guy. I built a chopper, but it was a jet bike. I'm a jet bike guy. Hey, doggy. Pupper cam. <laughs> Twenty-eight millimeter socket. Okay, wording is hard for me. I have a 2011 Ram 3500. Six seven, obviously. There is the fuel filter lid right there. It's made out of plastic. I have a sneaking, stinking suspicion that has never been off. I'm at 170,000 miles, and the service interval is every 60,000 miles. So I'm at least two, almost, almost three intervals um, behind. So it's about time to get this off. The problem is, is the lid likes to get stuck to the bottom of the canister, plastic on plastic, and it might break. Cue this. A metal, aluminum, this is some whatever, some Chinese shit probably, with an O-ring and a filter. But I didn't use the filter, this is the filter that came with this and this is once again chinese shit i can trust the metal it's got the right threads is all i care about i've got an actual napa filter we're gonna use but first let's bust that nut oh my god put a piece of hose on that and drain that into a fuel um catch container that way you're not getting on the ground Hey guys, it's two days later. Guess what happened? That was a 12.28 millimeter. You should probably have a 6.28 millimeter. Uh, we just rounded it off a little bit, but Uncle Moose is a feeling. This little, look at that, six points of good. I, I don't know why I don't have anything like this, but it just, it eludes me. Oh yeah, see that's, that's actually gonna fit. So let's see if we can't just uh, completely destroy this lid taking it off. Okay, that's the best I could do for angle. Let's just sneak Mr. Six Point in there. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's get this lid off. 
Okay, I got a ratchet on the deal. Let's see just how screwed up. I bled it a little. Oh, okay. Maybe famous last word. I probably should have bled it a little bit more. Come on. <clears throat> okay, first look, you and I. Let's keep everything somewhat. Detail might clean. Okay. I think it's a twist or it's a pull. It's a double. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let this drip dry, and then we're gonna set up back on the bench. Kind of give a once over on this thing. <clears throat> okay guys uh it's that time of year when it's like my mouth's blocked up it's cold it's kind of warm but it's cold yeah it's just yeah anyway this is the filter this is uh you can see fleet guard fleet guard cummins all that stuff take my word for it um the pleats look kind of you know, there's some stuff in there. Definitely did his job. Like, it's just, they just look old, like crunchy. Can you hear that? It's, I don't know. So, I think we did a good job. What was the turn though? Whoa, dude. Filter inside a filter. Is that supposed to do that? Anyway, I feel good about it. So really the question is, will changing this filter increase, increase in uh, fuel mileage? Because now more than ever we're feeling the crunch. And uh, I like science, so let's do a little experiment. Ugh. All right. Why am I just like all stuffed up and just feel miserable? I don't have allergies, but man, something's hitting me. It ain't COVID. All right. Now let's look up the starting procedures because I think you just let it crank. Shut off, let it crank, shut off, let it crank, shut off, let it crank until it's primed and then it go. I don't know. We're going to look it up. Okay. It runs. That's bright. Okay, hold on. All right, so we're sitting here idling. Let's reset the fuel economy to zero. Uh, and we'll drive it for the next week, say, and see if we have any difference. I only anticipate the general to and fro to work, vacational trip to maybe Dollar General in town, you know, just the small stuff. And we'll see if there is any actual measurable difference with this new filter. Okay, you guys, we're back after a brief, uh, whatever that was, intermission, interlude, whatever the nomenclature is. <clears throat> we're back. It's been exactly seven days since the fuel filter change. And I will say I've seen some uh, improvements. And before I show you this, I will say that I know it's the Lyometer. I don't know if you should trust if it's accurate on the um, the actual fuel mileage. I'm just using this as a gauge. Um there might have been some variables. It's a little warmer out this week. Maybe it's that might have something to do with it when it comes to the engine warning hotter, so it's going to be more efficient, something like that. I don't know. I'm just saying, don't take this as a in stone. Moose said this because there's a lot of variables that change in the weather. Uh, maybe it wasn't as windy this week or this, excuse me, this past work week. And so the uh, end result might be a little skewed. But Will this thing turn on? See that? This is 18. 18 miles per gallon, and we were at 13.2 before. I don't believe that. I think something's funky going on. Oh, music. I think something's funky going on when it comes to variables that I can't control. I didn't really go outside of my usual route 
work home, work home, uh, stop at the gas station a couple times, you know, get a couple cold snacks, but nothing, no major route changes, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, so what I'm trying to say, this is anecdotal, but fuel filter change probably will increase your fuel efficiency. I don't know by almost five MPG, but it definitely will help because I've, it's, it's been floated around like 17, 18 and I'm going to take it at face value and say, yeah, it's a good, I mean, it's good to change your filter anyway, but you, uh, you will see improved mileage and in the, this economy and these times you can't say no to that so this is midwest moose saying thank you for watching take it with a grain of salt but it's always a good idea to change your fuel filter anyway well there it is so until next time you guys just stay out of trouble keep uh keep working or not working or whatever you want to do <laughs> and uh keep your eyes posted another video coming up soon and i mean it